Hi everyone, I'm just making this quick video to share a few more shader and material resources that have appeared in the community recently, and to close up this trilogy of shader related content. There's a ton of free stuff in here, as well as a few in-depth paid products, so there's something for everyone to try, use for their own projects, and to learn from. So first of all, we have the new holographic shader by Vex, which has a free and a paid version. The purpose of this shader is to simulate iridescence and thin film interference, but it's very capable of producing all kinds of other styles, and believe me, it's very easy to get good looking results with this. The free version gives you a simplified node group with one preset in a demonstration scene, whereas the paid version gives you a wide range of visual presets, and as you can see, the number of parameters for the node group is huge. This makes it extremely versatile, allowing you to get anything from bubbles to glittery cloth to oil. Next up we have Feline Entity, who has created a lovely node group for getting a starry night sky for the world background. This package is completely free to download. You have control over the color randomness and size of the stars, the sky and horizon color, as well as the emission strength. With all these controls, it makes it very capable of producing both stylized and more realistic results. And of course it works in both the EV and Cycles rendering engines. However, if you want to take advantage of the star emission and get bloom effects in Cycles, then you will need to add that afterwards in the compositor. Also available on their Gumroad profile is the Outline Helper add-on that will let you create non-destructive outline effects for your models. This is also free to download and use, and you'll also notice a free stylized flowing grass effect for Blender, which pairs up with our earlier collaboration video, so there's lots of free stuff to play with here. Now we move on to Charon from Just3D Things, who has recently created a procedural shapes pack to help you construct your own patterns inside of the material nodes. It's free dollars and quite handy if you find yourself repeatedly building the same basic shapes inside of the nodes. Each base shape in the pack comes in the form of a node group with adjustable input parameters and a variety of outputs. Charon has also asked me to tell you that if you want the shape pack but can't afford it, then just send them a message on Discord or Twitter. But this isn't the only thing available on their Gumroad profile. You'll also find some really good free content. In terms of node stuff, you'll find a checkers pattern node with quite a large potential of patterns. Also a feathers node to help you generate a range of feathery shapes. They've also recently decided to recreate the procedural textures already available in Blender from scratch, just as a learning exercise. So if you have any interest in studying node maths, then you can dissect this to see how they were made. These also apparently run faster than the regular generated textures, so if you're concerned about optimization for your materials, then this is definitely worth checking out. I should also note that most of these free resources are licensed as CC0, meaning you can use them for any purpose, but you should double check the description of the products just to make sure. Over here you'll see the procedural brick shader, which was again another learning experiment in an attempt to recreate the highly popular bricks project by Simon Thomas. And we can't just gloss over Simon without talking about their incredible variety of free shader and material node resources. As well as having a good variety of procedural surfaces, such as scales, fire, knitwear, and so on, there's also a node tool for procedural texture placement called Scatter. And on top of this, they've also created their own collection of procedural noise textures all ready for you to use. And I should note that these are also generously licensed as CC0. Moving on we're going to take a look at Gabe, who I recently recommended you go and follow on this channel because they've been making some amazing things in Blender recently and picking up some nice attention. One example of an amazing thing is they casually decided to create their own path trace render engine in Eevee using the world shader nodes. Anyway, Gabe also has their own Gumroad page where they occasionally share some tools and resources. One tool in particular that's quite useful is the stepped parallax shader, which includes support for triplanar mapping and iteration smoothing. This is quite a recent upload and is available for $8, but again, Gabe also has a bunch of free stuff available, including a hand-drawn shader, ray marching shader, glyph generator, color distribution shader, and SDF node pack. SDF in this case meaning sign distance function. So yeah, lots of free stuff to enjoy. Okay, before we wrap this up, I just want to give a mention to BBBN19 again, otherwise known as Ben, who I've spoken about quite a bit recently, showing off their real-time shader displacement system for Eevee. What I didn't mention was that they also have a collection of cool free resources for nodes including real-time effects. This real-time smoke effects pack is quite popular. I can definitely see these resources being useful for anyone interested in creating motion graphics. Anyway yes, I just wanted to let you know about these resources. Feel free to download them if you think they might be useful to you, and make sure to have fun. November is coming up soon, which is an annual challenge where a prompt is given for every day of the month, and you need to create the prompt using only nodes and a primitive. It's a great challenge to take part in if you want to try and improve your skills with nodes. Okay, that's where we're going to leave it. Remember to follow me on social media for updates and join our Discord server to take part in discussions, share your work, and get previews of upcoming projects. So thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.